While double spending and the Byzantine generals problem were addressed in order to make blockchain technology viable, there are still potential vulnerabilities in blockchains. The most widely cited example is what's known as a 51% attack. To understand this concept, let's look at an example. Suppose there are two neighborhoods with 100 houses each. Neighborhood A has one house with 99% of the neighborhood's gold or money. The houses of neighborhood B each have the same amount of wealth, but it's distributed equally. Now let's say a thief is looking to rob one of these communities. You need to get a certain amount of a neighborhood's wealth for any robbery to be worth the risk. Do you target neighborhood A, where all the wealth is in one house, or do you target neighborhood B, where you'd have to rob multiple houses to make it worth your while? Of course, any smart thief goes for neighborhood A, where less effort would amount to the same amount gained in the heist. In this scenario, houses are nodes and the money they possess is information. Neighborhood A represents a centralized network with one server containing all the information. Neighborhood B represents a decentralized network. There is an equal amount of information in each node within the decentralized network. So how does this relate to centralized networks? Blockchains work off of a majority consensus. One possible way to attack a blockchain is to hijack a majority of the nodes in order to gain a majority of the hashing power of a network, thus allowing the hackers to manipulate the blockchain. This is known as a 51% attack. However, proof of work consensus algorithms make any attempt at a 51% attack very costly. It would take a great amount of energy in order to attempt to hijack a majority of a blockchain's nodes. In our example, this would be the same as robbing 51% of the houses in neighborhood B all in the same night. You've completed the second module of this course, and by now you've learned about the architecture of blockchains, how they stay secure, and how cryptocurrency is mined. Head over to our next module to see the potential impact that blockchain technology may offer.